Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. You already know this is Don D with Uptown Exotics and this week we're going to talk about Snake Shed. Welcome back. Yes, this week we are going to talk about snake sheds since my reels, or not my reels, my shorts have been all about everybody showing off their new skin because everybody has literally been going to the shed. One after the other, different snake is going to the shed each week. Um, it's, it, it's been wild, it's been crazy. I've never had that happen before. But I guess when you build up such a collection, it, it does end up happening. Uh, but um, I've had a couple of people ask me how I can tell when my snakes are going in the shed or when they're in shed. And luckily, right now, we have two willing participants who decided that they would like to show off <laughs> what they look like when they're in shed. So let's take a look. This is Daddy Pop. He is my mahogany head clown boy who is deep in shed here's a picture of what he normally looks like and you can see the difference of from what he looks like now he has a little bit of a <laughs> as we like to call it an ashy look to him um, also if he'll let me do it his eyes, it's really not picking up on the camera too well, but they kind of have like a metallic look to them. They're, they're jet black. Um, usually their eyes will kind of get like, uh, we call it in, in blue, they're in blue, uh, or they're kind of gray. And the reason for that, and the reason for the, the uh, muted color in the skin is because there's fluid buildup in between the old skin and the new skin. And they, uh, snakes don't have eyelids, so they're, they're when they shed, um, they shed their eyes as, you know, the, we call them the eye caps, the, the skin over their eyes as well. So there is fluid built up also um, under the skin above their eyes. So I'm going to put him away so he doesn't get too too upset. Um, they, they are very vulnerable when they're in shed, so I don't want to get him too upset. But let's check out Camille. Camille is also very much in shed, as you can see. Um, her color is usually a lot brighter. Here is a picture for reference. And her eyes haven't really gone into blue yet. She's, <laughs> She's not gonna let me show you. <laughs> uh, but they're getting there. Uh, they're getting there. Again, they're, they're very vulnerable at this uh, point uh, when they're going into shed. Uh, because I mean they, they don't have the best eyesight as it is but when when their eyes when they're in blue and the, the fluid is built up um, between the old skin and the new skin over the eyes they really can't see what's going on so they're really vulnerable and she is displaying <laughs> the the reason that they're called ball pythons they will ball themselves up. She's really not in a ball ball, but they'll ball themselves up and completely cover their head to protect their head. 
um, because that's their most vulnerable spot uh, on their body. But she knows that there's no threat. So she's coming back out to say hi. But she's really, as we call, ashy. <laughs> um, she, she's uh, definitely not as bright as what she normally is. Uh, so she will go into, sh or she will shed, or should shed, uh, hopefully within the next week or so. Um, and she'll be her normal, beautiful, bright self. And she is a fire, orange dream, het clown girl. So one of the ways to ensure they have a good shed is to increase the humidity in their enclosure. Um, since moisture builds up between the old skin and the new skin, we need to make sure that, that the, the air in the, uh, in the enclosure is humid enough to get that moisture in throughout the body. Um, I try to bump my humidity up to around 80% humidity in the tubs or in their enclosures when they're getting ready to shed. That way they, um, they give me a complete shed. Um, unlike us, when we, we shed our skin in pieces, um, a good, a good shed with a snake, the whole, the whole shed will come off. For example, this is Daddy Pop, who you're going to get ready to see because I noticed that he was he had shed last night when I checked on him this morning. So I, the, the shed is usually in, in a ball and inside out. So this is the inside of the skin. And the first thing I check for after I unwrap it and after I check the snake is I check for the eye caps. And you can see the eye caps right here. Um, that's where the eyes are. <laughs> And I just want to make sure that there's no stuck skin on the eye caps. Because um, then I'd have to get them off and that can be a whole other ordeal. Um, I also, also when, uh, after they come out of blue, their eyes, after their eyes come out of blue, I'll spray them down just because they usually, they'll come out of blue maybe a day or two before they're going to shed their skin. So I'll spray them down with uh, some lukewarm water um, just to get some more moisture on their skin to help help that shed. Um, every now and then, and I, I have one snake that it's happened twice. Thank goodness she's the only one, but they will have a bad shed and have a stuck shed or pieces it will come off and, and a lot of pieces it won't come off the, the full skin won't come off all at once um if there's stuck shed i have to soak her and she's used to it by now <laughs> she's done it a couple times but i will soak her to get the skin moist and then she'll I put her in her tub or even when i take her out of the soak she'll run around through my hands, not run, but move around through my hands and um, get skin off that way. And you can tell it really feels good the way she just moves around and gets all the skin off. But since Daddy Pop has shed and you saw his skin, let's see him. Yeah. So this is the handsome Daddy Pop. I love this boy. I love this boy. He's a good boy. Watch your nose, watch a little snoot. And for those in the know, he is a mahogany head clown. I think I said that already, but it's never too much information. But he's a mahogany head clown. That He's one of those dark jeans. I love the dark jeans. I love the light jeans too. And the dark and light, you just wait. You just wait. But here he is all fresh shed. He shed overnight last night. I found his skin this morning. So he's looking very good and just in time for his meal day because he eats tomorrow. So he is just in time to eat. Some, some of my snakes will eat when they're in shed. Um, 
he's not one of them. He doesn't he usually doesn't eat when he's in shed. Um, it's usually my girls. My girls, when they're in shed, they will come out looking for food. Uh, most of them. I do have a couple that won't eat when they're in shed. But for the most part, in shed or not, <laughs> they will come out looking for food. Ready for the food. Right, my guy? Where are you going? You don't even know. But that is the video for this week. I do thank you for stopping by as always. And please be sure to subscribe uh, to my channel. Um, we have surpassed that 200 subscriber uh, count. Um, if you remember my video from last week, um, we do have a contest still going on. Um, I will be pulling a winner on Saturday uh, to win some uh, some bugaboos, <laughs> some uh, some isopods uh, donated by my, my friend Christine. So make sure you check out last week's video to get the rules for or to get the rules to enter the bugaboo contest. And make sure you please like this video. Give me a thumbs up. As always, the more likes my videos have the more people the videos get pushed out to. Right, Daddy Pop? And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I, I had an idea, since people have been asking about the sheds, um, I wanna do a couple of videos just answering some questions from my viewers. So if you are not already following me on Instagram, please do so. Um, it's the same, same name, Uptown underscore Exotics, and shoot me a message, just asking me a question, a uh, snake related, please. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll pick a couple and answer the questions in the next few videos or in future videos. Uh, but ask me some questions that you would like answers for, and I will answer them. And, um, yeah. So again, thank you for stopping by, and we will see you next week. Um, no, I won't have any surprises next week. <laughs> I had to think. I had to think of what's going on. Um, but not next week, but maybe the week after. <laughs> uh, things are starting to get exciting again. I love it. It's fun. Uh, but yes, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and we will see you next week. Love you. Bye.